Hello everyone, it's me, your marriage and relationship coach coming to you live today. If you have been married either recently or have been in it for so many years now, few things will be obvious. You are either still in your honeymoon phase or reality has since kicked in. Now whichever it is, some other obvious things happening could be you are still wondering, did I make a huge mistake marrying my partner? While some others have since concluded, I made a huge mistake marrying my partner. For some, they hope that their marriage becomes the haven they'd always dreamed of while growing up, having all the bliss and love there is. While for others, it's like they've already been condemned to a prison sentence they cannot run away from for the rest of their lives. Some pray every day, hoping that just maybe their spouse may change while some others make the home unbearable for their partners in a bid to make them change into what they want. Some married for purpose and simply handpick their partner as something that would fit into their purpose like a puzzle. And they spend the rest of their marriage trying to make this piece to fit into their lives and purpose. Great point but wrong strategy. Some started out happy and excited but are now sad, depressed, suicidal frustrated and hoping that one day, maybe just one day, they would find an exit. Why? Some married an abuser, some married a liar, some married a lazy spouse, some married an unproductive spouse that is poor and broke. And they seem to be carrying all the load. Some are under some form of abuse and attack from the extended family and their partner seems not to be helping. Some married a cheating spouse, some married a nagging spouse, and all they do from morning till night is trying not to go insane. They look towards the possibility of divorce someday or silently pray that something would kill their partner so they can be free from this bondage called marriage. So sad. Hey, 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 hold it right there. Your state of mind, physical, mental, psychological, emotional and spiritual health are going through the roof right now. Number one, you need to stay alive and healthy for you. Can you for one second stop thinking about the other person and start thinking about you for a change? Number two, that marriage can work again and end up successful if given the right incentive. Number three, a successful marriage could happen by luck or chance. But more often than not, you would have to make it happen. And when I say you, I'm referring to both parties involved. Although you, as in you listening to me right now, must hold up to your part. That is your responsibility. Number four, marriage is hard work, not for one party alone, but for the two of them who would have to make their marriage work by putting into it what will make it work. And number five, although I said earlier that marriage is hard work, it is also as simple as ABC. Making your marriage work is a very simple process. If you do what you should do, you can have a predictable outcome. Notice I said if you do what you should do. Many don't know what to do, when to do, why to do, and how to do what they do. Yet they want things to just get right. No, not so. Marriage is like a computer system. Giggle. Garbage in, garbage out. I will be sharing tidbits and little sizable bites on how we can together enjoy the bliss we had hoped for when walking down the aisle on our wedding day. That marriage can work again. Don't lose faith. Let's begin this journey towards restoring your marriage or improving it from where it is right now to much more possibilities of where it can be. Follow the link on this post and get to knock right on my door. If you love to read, you can also visit my blog on my website www.davidkingetienam.com and knock yourself out with so many inspiring thoughts that will improve your marriage and relationship. You can also get my books directly from my website or on Amazon, Kindle and Kobo. Until then, it's me, your marriage and relationship coach, David King Etienne. God bless you.